This is the first week in forever that Gurley hasn't been number one, but we still have a Los Angeles running back at the top. And look at David Johnson sneaking up into the top five. Orlando. There you go. All right, so if we move beyond those top five, which other running backs do you see having a solid performance this Sunday? Yeah, I like Marlon Mack there in Indianapolis. Last week, he overcame a tough matchup, gave me a decent stat line, around 13 fantasy him. points, but he's got a good matchup against the Dolphins. They've allowed the third most rushing yards to running backs this season. And the Dolphins have also allowed right around five yards a carry and over 30 fantasy points per game to running backs on the road this season. So, Max should fry the fish this week. Let's go to Aaron Jones. Now, you're thinking, wait a minute, Vikings, this is a bad matchup. Aaron Jones is matchup proof. Why? Because Aaron Rodgers is his quarterback. Jones has seen the second fewest eight-man boxes among running backs with 80 or more carries. And the guy's averaging almost seven yards a tote. So no matter who the matchup is, Vikings, Bears, doesn't matter. Keep Aaron Jones in your starting lineup. Feels like he's finally becoming the guy that fantasy managers have been wanting him to be. All Mike season. McCarthy finally listened to me like three weeks he ago. Listen to you. That's except exactly for he right. didn't, but I'm going to say he did. Yes. Matt Breida. You want to talk about a guy whose value is on the rise with Raheem Mostert out before the bye. 20 touches, had his best fantasy game of the season. Now he gets the Buccaneers. They've allowed five yards of carry, the six most fantasy points to running back since week eight. So Mr. Breida could be a. San Francisco tree. Oh my God. That was two bad ones, but that's what I'm here to well do. Done. Well Adam done. Rank is here to dish out the funny jokes. I dish out the bad ones.